Loading game! Evil Crab Monsters! Hello again everyone, I'm Deegan Berry. Last time on XCOM UFO Defense, we dealt with some really evil crab monsters. Some evil crab monsters known as, uh, Chris... Cr chrysalids, was it? Chris... Chris... yeah, cr chrysalids. Not silicids or silicoids, uh, chrysalids. Uh, now, I, I previous in a previous game, I said cyber discs were evil, and cyber discs are pretty evil. They're like the alien version of a tank, except for they're a small UFO. It can fly, and when you destroy it, 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 when you destroy it, it explodes, and that is really fearsome. But I think the chrysalid takes the cake as far as pure evil is concerned. The chrysalid is a crab man that's very tough, and he can move very, very far. And when he kills one of your guys, they turn into another chrysalid. It's like a zombie! Except for, well, when he kills one of your guys, they turn into a zombie. And then you have to kill the zombie, and when you kill the zombie, a chrysalid pops out! Holy crap! That is... that is nuts! Fortunately, when they kill a tank, uh, they can't make a... Cr they can't make a tank into a zombie that has a chrysalid inside. But, oh, that is... that is some pure evil! Alright, Tengineers, did... Did we, uh, did we load the right save? Ten, uh, that seems familiar, but I think... No, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure I loaded the right save. It's, it seems familiar to get ten, engin ten engineers in a package. Uh, yeah, I, I ordered too many engineers, because we don't have any space. We don't have any space for these engineers. Oops. I thought, I thought the, uh, I thought the production facility could hold 50 people, and... There's 50 workspace in the, in the engineering facility, but... Not there's 50 space, but the the the, pro, the the project also takes some space. So, I guess let's build another workshop. We're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of a lot of things. We're gonna we're, we're gonna produce a lot of stuff. I get the feeling. So, that's fine. Let's get a new ooh a package of grenades. Good. Let's let's get more of that. We are running a bit low on cash though. The tank cannon has arrived. General stores are complete. Good. All right, we're still working on. We're, we're we're working as hard as we can on the personal armor, and that's good. More personal armor on the way. Alrighty, let's see what happens next. Large radar system is completed, Aladdin. Well, there's that. But I mean, what happens with the aliens? I mean, what happens with the aliens? We're getting we're getting tanks one at a time. It's good though. I need replacement tanks. All right, any aliens out there? Or should I start sending my, uh, my interceptors around to, uh, to places? Oh yeah, did I, did I rearm, did I rearm the ship I had at Moe Base? Where was Moe Base? That was this one, right? Uh, let me double check that. Moe. Moe. <laughs> oh, that joke never gets old with me. Double plasma beams. Double avalanches. Okay, so I know I produced them. I just forgot to ship them over, right? Transfer, please. Destination is Moe Base, and I have got some plasma beams for you. There you go. Hundred seventy-nine dollars. Oh boy, what will what will the people of Earth do? Uh, people of Earth, I need hundred seventy-nine dollars to transfer the. Yeah, forget it. All right, uh, interceptor six. Nail that that large spacecraft. And, uh, Katachi Kirai, go ahead and surround it. Hasami Uchi Dayo. I think that's right. Hasami, uh, it's, uh, the scissors. The scissors plan. Hasami. Hasami Uchi Dayo. Or Hasami Uchi something. Hasami technique. The, get them in the old scissors. Uh, oh, oh, yes. We moved there. Okay. Uh, how about there? He's moving, he's moving in that direction. All right. Oi! Oi, Mashta. Kono. Or oi, Masu. Not oi, Mashta. Oi, Mashta. That's. I use the past tense. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Gomenasai. Uh. Okay. Yes. Go ahead of him, not behind him. He's going this way. That guy's going fast. Oh. Oh. He landed. Oh. Hello there. You have landed. We must act on this immediately. A quick craft, Sky Ranger, Sky Ranger. Uh, we have one space open. Don't ask how that space was created. It's just we have an extra space, okay? All right, Astra Belov. No, uh, let's see. 
Everyone's a squatty. Everyone's had got a little experience, except for you, Matthias Berger. Why don't you come on out on this mission? So yeah, that's that's right. Anyone can become a squatty if they get experience. But after that, the higher ranks require you to have a certain number of personnel underneath them. It's like a pyramid thing. So the more soldiers you have, the higher ranks of uh, soldiers you can get. But anyone can go from a rookie to a squatty because that just takes experience, as far as I know. So uh, yes, you you too, David Day. You need to come along. And armor, let's distribute some new sets of personal. We've got a lot of personal armor going around, and I'm glad about that. I am, I'm happy about that. You, it's hard to have enough personal armor, quite frankly. Alright, that makes me feel a lot more confident, quite frankly. Yes. Did I say, I've been saying quite frankly a lot, quite frankly. I, I don't think you can say quite frankly enough, quite frankly. Alright, well, I think, I think you can now. Now cut it out. All right. <laughs> well, I think you can, sir. Okay. You think I can, sir? This is <laughs> enough. All right. I get it. It's comedy hour. Smoke grenades. Okay. Eight smoke grenades. I want some more smoke. I don't think we've used up all our normal grenades before, but... Uh, yeah, 16... Our, our, our things are skewed now. 16 proximity grenades. Well, we're taking 10 alien grenades. 60 proximity, 10 smoke... 8 normal, 10 alien, and uh, 5 high explosives. We need more high explosives. Let's get more high explosives. I think high explosives are wonderful things to have. Where are those things? High explosives. They're also expensive though, but still. They're not that bad. I mean, they're more expensive than rockets. Well, yeah, they, they are my most expensive explosive, but that's still not that bad, all things considered. I'll take 15. Although I only have a single... I'm only a millionaire now, everyone. <laughs> that actually doesn't sound that good by today's by by today's standards. It's like uh, it's like uh, Bill Gates would just comes up. Oh, hello, alien base in Singapore. Oh, hell no! I'm not having that. We're we have another base to take out. I know I don't know when they established that, but we're gonna have to get rid of it. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey! Stop, 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 stop! I said stop! Ooh, that was very slow on the stoppage. Uh, Interceptor 5, select new target. We cannot let him get away! Do not let him get away! Intercepting UFO 51. And you, select new targets. I guess you can go over here and you can kind of prepare to return to base. Uh, Larry 2. Interceptor 2 at Larry base. We're probably gonna need you as well. Gosh, that thing is fast. Look at that thing go. That's going 3,200. How fast, how fast do we go, anyways? We're going 1,200. Okay, I guess it's not that much faster than us, but it's still, it's still like a third faster than us. It's almost twice as fast as us, as us almost. Okay, he's just getting away. Get back here, you! Don't make me dispatch the fighters. Oh wait, I already did, did that one. Don't make me dispatch fighters from somewhere else. Redirect craft. Select new targets. Just follow him. Just keep following. Go to last known position. And uh, I'll just have to re retarget. Go to Canada! Oh, Canada! Oh, wait, wait, no. Oh, Canada! Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, no alien spacecraft? No? Huh. Oh. Dang, he got away. Alright then, uh, so... Interceptor 6, just RTB. Interceptor 5, same deal. The rest of you just kind of poke around. Make sure there's no other alien bases that we're not, um, we're not missing. Okay, the plasma beams have arrived at Mo Base A. <laughs> Mo A Base. Mo Base A. Sky Ranger, return to base. It's gonna take you a long time to get refueled. Katachkinai, return to base. Katachkinai. Katachkinai! Oh, you're very welcome. Okay. Well, he got away. That jerk. That was surprising. 
Well, we've got- we still have something to attack. Uh, when do we want to attack it? That's the question. Well, we've got a full suit- a uh, full complement of personal armor, so I guess... Any time would be fine, really, now that it's daylight. I mean, we don't have a lot going on. And, uh, later on, we might have a lot going on, so... Uh, yeah, as scary as it is, I think I want to attack that just about now. I am bringing a few cowards along in this mission. Last time I went on an alien base attack, I did not get my minds taken over, our brains taken over. However, we don't know that that won't be the case this time, but if we start losing our people to mental attacks, I guess I'll just try a boarding mission and see what happens there. I don't know. It does concern me taking this many cowardly people on a mission. In fact, let's not take that many cowardly people. Let's take let's take someone a bit more brave. Yeah, let's take let's take Bernard. Let's take at least one brave person just in case uh, things go pear-shaped. Okay, and our armament was good. Oh yes, yes, race. Armor. Uh, I just reassigned one person, so. You need personal armor. Make it personal. We're gonna have to make this personal. Okay. Sky Ranger 1? Here we go! Let's take out Alien Base 2. I'm feeling lucky. Ew. Well, kind of. <laughs> I still have my misgivings about this, but you can always run away. Alright, the high explosives have arrived. Oh, we found him! We found the- oh, oh, he's back! Hello! You're back, are you? Or is this a different one? Uh, I don't know. I don't- I don't remember the UFO number, but... Let's just try it. Okay, you sneak! You sneaky sneak! Oh, you... Whippersnapper. Okay, Karachi, can I just get after him? You know what? The heck with you, I'm just gonna go for your base. If we happen to take down you, uh, then we'll do that, but I'm, I'm going for your base then. I'm just gonna take out your base. If you don't- if you don't want to fight me, that's fine. Moe- oh wait, which... Bases, uh... Moe, we need to rearm one of you two. Yes, you. You get plasma beams! Plasma! I love the idea that they have infinite ammo. Okay, so... That's good. So you're rearming, so Interceptor 3 has to go out. But hopefully, the, the other Interceptor will be rearmed by the time we need him again. Alright, Alien Base 2! Here we go! Okay, I can always abort if I need to. It's funny, last time I thought the alien base had two parts, but I was mixing it up with XCOM Terror from the Deep. I remember in XCOM Terror from the Deep, the alien bases had two parts, I believe. Uh, I, I, I still am not 100% on that. Anyways, uh, Ellen Blake gets a nice complement of grenades, and hopefully that will be... Hopefully he can carry all that. Klaus, you're not as strong as Blake, so less stuff. I hope that that will be okay. Okay, David Day, you're not very strong at all. You don't get anything besides a rocket launcher. And well, except for is a rocket launcher. It, rocket launchers are kind of difficult to use indoors. But I still want it around, so I uh, just—it's just difficult to use. Not impossible, just simply difficult to use indoors. It's this might not be the best situation for it, but we'll bring it along anyways. Yuri, you're not strong by any definition of the word. You're not weak, but you're not strong, so you get a small variety pack. Hopefully, you're not overweight. Karnov, you are as strong as they come, just about. Uh, but since we're fighting indoors, I would like you to have plenty of... Or I would like you to have a direct fire weapon along with your grenades. Uh, do you want a medkit? Yeah, you take the medkit. Karnov will provide the medical assistance to anyone who needs it. That's good. Alright, Yuzo is a little bit strong, but not, not dead pats. <laughs> High explosive strong. David Sharp is a sharp shooter. He is not a strong man. So, less stuff. Bernard, you are strong, so... That setup, I approve. I approve of that. I approve of this setup. Except for... put that in your belt. Seems kinda awkward to have a high explosive in your belt, but... It's... it's... it's easier to reach, so... It's just... it's just kinda weird. I just I imagine it being on there like a fanny pack. Uh, which... just is... it's a weird mental image, that's all. 
All right, and we've come around the world. We're around the setup. Okay, good. Done. Uh, I was used to the idea of everyone being up in the green zone. Why are you down here, Yuzo? That is, uh, scary. That is scary. Um, just prime your smoke and run! <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want to be out there. It's scary down there. That's where the aliens are. Are you kidding? What kind of starting location is this? Everyone get up. Get up the shaft. Alright, Andrea. Also prime. That nade. And also it's weird how our equipment's kind of scattered around rather than just being in one centralized location like in the, uh, the typical Sky Ranger situation. Alright, Karnov. Uh, I should have left the smoke grenade in your hand, because I don't like you, the, the idea of you priming a, a high explosive right off the bat. And then Tank, you're the one who gets to go out and explore and risk their uh, non-biological mechanical neck. So, get partially on the grab shaft. And so if anyone shoots, they'll be shooting at you. Okay, and in this other area, we have Matthias. Matthias can prime his smoke grenade and put it in his belt. And then get over here. And then David Sharp can just... Can we... It doesn't actually look like we're seeing down the grav shaft. That doesn't mean that we're necessarily not. I just... Just doesn't... David Day... Yeah, you've got the rocket launcher, and you're still overweight! So, uh, drop one of your rockets, and you'll come back for that one. And... Bernard, I want someone to keep watch over this grav shaft, and still have some time units left, so actually put that smoke grenade in your belt right now. And then, uh... We've already done you. We've already done you. We've already done you. Okay, Klaus. Klaus, you are the colonel. Colonel Klaus Brahim. Probably should have a better weapon, but, well, I don't plan for him to get into much action, so... Yeah, just, uh, just stay up here and give everyone moral support. I think, I think the, the officers give people moral support, right? They help the morale. So, it's useful to have, like, an officer helping out a bunch of cowards. And that's exactly what we have this turn, in this game, is a bunch of cowards. Alright, it's turn two. Things happened. I don't know where they happened, but they happened. David Sharp? See anything? Nope. Okay, well, let's uh, smoke this area up. So that we can be feel more safe next time we come down here. Alright. A little bit weird we can see over there. And then Bernard. We're gonna... We're gonna start proxy grenading. Because I love my proxies. Okay, so we got the edge of the map over here. Not very likely the enemies over there. But... We can, we can proxy that area to sort of eliminate it as far as having to worry about that area. Alright, David Day, you've got your rocket launcher, just uh, just wait there with that. Matthias, proxy grenade please, prime it, yes, and just stand over here, and Klaus, you've got your grenade primed. So just keep overwatch, make sure that your loyal soldiers don't get scrooched. Okay, tank cannon. Uh, I want you facing this way, I guess. Should be the best way to face when coming down. I guess any direction just as well, really. Alright. So it looks like we got the same basic setup. Two grav shafts. Got some rooms in this direction. Edge of the map there. And then edge of the map over here as well. Okay. And so most of the map is in this direction. Alright. Getting the feel for this place. Uh, can we throw down there? Yeah, you can throw down a grav shaft. So yeah, the, the, the grav shaft is definitely permeable. We could, it's just, it's interesting how we don't actually like uncover the shroud 
the darkness by looking down the grav shaft. You can see the enemies through the grav shaft, just not the terrain through the grav shaft. Kind of awkward if you ask me, but I guess nobody did. Nobody did, Tegan. Well, that's just, that's nice. That's nice. It's kind of rude. It's kind of rude, I must say. My, my own personalities, my own internal dialogue is rather rude. I'm always so rude to myself. I can never give myself an even break. All right, Alan Blake. Why don't you prepare another prime, or another proxy grenade? All right, good. Proxy grenades all around. David Day's ready with, with his ridiculous rocket launcher. And <laughs> tank cannon shall scout just a little bit. Just a little bit of scouting. Okay. That's good good scouting, I'd say. Alright. Be ready for next turn. Uh done. Smoke? Smoke? Any aliens wanna show up? I didn't expect any aliens at this point. However, because they probably start a certain distance away from our starting zone, hopefully. But who's to say? All right, so we got the tank down here. Let's start distributing proximity grenades. Because that's how I make myself feel better. That's how I secure the area. All right, so I will leave the hallway connecting our uh, start zones. Or, or should I? Maybe I should secure that hallway and then just start working my way around the edge. That would probably be a better tactic, actually, rather than driving up the middle. Although it worked last time. Driving up the middle worked last time, so... Maybe I shouldn't change what worked. Ah, uh, decisions. Um, yeah, I like the idea of trapping the middle hallway a bit more. So... Yeah, it's more most likely that our enemies are in this direction. So let's start by mining that direction. Yuri, if you do the honors. Okay, maybe the tank needs to get out of the way slightly. Could you do that, tank? Uh, that's not what I meant, but that works. Okay, Yuri, I think you just need to move one space. Or no, let's try here. Makes sense I can't throw there, I can't see there. Okay. Um, just gonna step out here and please don't shoot me. I would like to throw it at a slight angle. Okay, Yuri, you're getting out there, but... Alright, that works. And you're around the corner. And Tank Cannon, you've got to secure him now. Keep him secure. Okay. Yuri's in the smoke. Andrea, Yuzo. Who's a recruit around here? None of you are recruits. Congratulations. You all have equal amounts of liability... So that's good. As far as equal amounts of value. Well, except for somebody, whoever's more skilled, I suppose. Okay, so I feel like the, the highest probability of aliens' presence is in this direction, but that doesn't mean that we can't easily have aliens in the other direction. It's just, I'm just going by probabilities. Okay, so the next grenade I want, I probably want, yeah, I want to trap this side and then move along along that other edge yeah so let's let's trap the bottom edge that works all right get out of there Ellen Blake okay Karnov uh well you're good at throwing we've had two other people move down there and throw proximity grenades so I guess we can probably risk Karnov a little bit. Although I would hate to see him die. Okay, uh... Let's just uh, throw a proximity... Wait, we, we got one down here. I put it there. So let's try in the other direction over there. Glad I haven't been shot by an alien hiding in the darkness. That is always a bit rude. When that happens. That is a spot that works, just don't forget that's there. And get back, Yuzo. You have just enough time to go back up the shaft. Thank 
you for getting out of the way, Alan Blake. Okay, Andrea Robinson. Okay, so once again, we've trapped... Trapped there. Did we trap here? We trapped here, here. We've thrown three. One, two, three. So no, we haven't trapped this direction. But what I'd like to... I would like to trap this direction, is what the direction I wanted to trap. Of course, I could trap that hallway as well. I, uh, ideally, I'd like to lay many, as, as many traps as possible in general. Okay, tank cannon. Move a little bit so that Andrea can get by. Andrea. Okay, you don't see any aliens hiding around the corner ready to shoot you. That's good. So lay a trap, just in case future aliens do come that direction. Throw it as far as you can down this hallway. Oh no, Andrea, please don't... I was worried that that was going to detonate. Andrea, what kind of terrible throw is that? Okay, tank cannon, I need you to move up and cover her. Oh my god, I'm lucky that that thing didn't detonate when Andrea moved. Holy crap, in fact, maybe I shouldn't have even moved with Andrea. Oh, I should have maybe... Well, okay. That was awkward. That was awkward. Okay, I gotta remember that when trying to throw around corners. Okay, Ar Karnov. Uh, this direction is cut off, basically. We can move that direction, we can move this direction. Uh, now let's throw a grenade down that side of the hallway. Karnov, if you see any monsters hiding around the corner waiting to eat you, okay. Now we remember what happened last time, so let's see if you can look down the hallway a bit more. And then throw as far as you can down it. Good, good man, Karnov. Okay, and then just get over here, and hopefully nothing will come down this side of the hallway and try to shoot you in the butt. Alright. Now guys on this side. Bernard. Alright, same sort of deal. Start trapping this place up. All right, is there someone else on this side that has one of those? No. You. Matthias, you were also planning to come down. Alright. So Matthias, you got 36. Bernard's got 39. Okay, Bernard, I think you... Uh, or which direction? I want you to handle this direction, because you're closest to it and you've got the movement. So kind of peek around the corner. Okay, good. Now maybe throw it down here. Good, okay, that's right in the middle of the hallway. Brilliant. And you can't get back up, so that's a little bit... A little bit awkward for you. Okay, Matthias. Just pitch it down that hallway as far as you can go. Which is about there, apparently. Okay, no it isn't. It's about there. Okay. Maybe I should have put it at the four-way. Oh, well, too late. Matthias, you are also stuck. Okay, so I think I want someone down here to kind of cover us. David Sharp... You're gonna want to react to any monsters that show up, so... Uh... What I want you to do is be... Uh, most likely the alien that would shoot us in the back will either come from here, here, or maybe this direction. And this direction, if an alien comes from this direction, they can also threaten Karnov. So... That being the case, I would like to put David Sharp... About here and have him face this way. If an alien walks up and tries to shoot Karnov in the back, hopefully David Sharp will have an angle. Actually, it doesn't look like he'll have an angle there. Okay, David Sharp will have an angle here, and then maybe he can have an angle on something that comes up over here. But if something comes up over there, well, that will just be an issue. <laughs> okay, I don't want Klaus to come down and help with that, but David Day could potentially uh, do something. I guess we're gonna bring David Day down there. If, uh, if there's an alien that walks up, David Day can chuck a rocket at it. Just be in a place where you have a fairly clear... Mm, that's not the best. Okay, so, uh, these guys have an issue, but luckily they're in smoke at least. That's everyone. Here we go. Please don't kill my friends on the other side of the hallway. Whew. Okay, everyone's fine. 
I am fine with all the mo hidden movement being hidden. Alright. Let us set more traps, I suppose. Karnov, you can prepare another one. David Sharp will cover you. Alright. Hallway is clear for now, Karnov. Prime that grenade. Time units reserved for snapshots. Uh, probably not going to be doing that there, Karnov. Oh, it cost you 18 to throw? Well, oopsie doodle. Guess just pull back there, Karnov. Okay. Andrea Robinson. I would like you to prepare another proximity. And save units for the time the snapshot. Good. Tank cannon. Uh we mined this zone, so I guess I'll start exploring in this direction. That's the direction we're going to be fighting. Alright, I don't see anything down here yet. Alright, go ahead and pull back. You're probably not going to snap anything. This has been surprisingly quiet so far, considering it's an alien base. Yuri? You don't have any special grenades left. Any proximity grenades. So just uh, keep watch. Keep an overwatch in this direction. That's all you're going to do for this turn. Karnov is a little bit exposed. David Sharp, come across the hallway. And keep your friend Karnov safe. Okay. David Day... Uh, you know what is fun? Firing rockets in random directions. <laughs> um, David Day, why don't you make sure that there is... Well, no, we can see that's the end of the hallway. Alright, it'd be fun, but it'd be wasteful. Let's... David Day, just, uh... Just pull back. Just to pull back till we need you. Alright, Alan Blake. You've got another proxy. Go ahead and prime it, and stay up here now for now. Yuzo, are you got the guy below? Wait, is that you? Or oh, I was getting you confused with the other guy in the other situation. Okay, that makes sense. All right, little bit confused. Uh, go ahead and put on your smoky, and then uh, I guess just put it. Put it. I'm a little afraid of what's down the hall, so... Okay, the movement command works like that. I didn't mean to do that, but that works. Just to make things a bit more smoky, throw things down this hallway as far as you can. That way, if there's a if an alien walks down that hallway and kind of sees us and tries to shoot down the hallway at us, uh, there's a chance they might... Well, they might not see us to even do that, so that's the thing. Hopefully. And so that'll work out, hopefully. All right, Matthias has trapped that hallway once, but an alien could walk by here, so let's trap it again. Let's double trap that hallway. All right, grenade active. Uh, yeah, actually, maybe you don't want to deploy that grenade yet, because you'll be stuck out there, and that would be bad. Bernard, you are still overweight. Uh, just guard your friend Matthias here. Just hold position here. Guard your friend Matthias. Klaus is just hanging out. That's what he does. Looking, uh, colonel. Looking like a colonel. Just trying to look officerly. Okay, movement is hidden. Oh, so far everything's just been hidden. It's very surprising. But I'm playing it safe. I ha it's not like I've moved out much, so... I mean, it's not like it's yeah, it's not like it's totally surprising, but it is a little bit. Come on down, Alan Blake. Let's see if we can trap some more. Any 
Any aliens down there? I would like to trap over here. Well, I would, but I can't. Not quite. Yeah, that line of sight would be about there, so... Alan Blake, you're not going to have enough time units for that this turn. Just go ahead and hide around the corner. You can properly trap that next turn. Karnov, you've got a proxy mine. Have we trapped that area much? I know we threw... Did we throw? We threw one over here. I, 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 wait, Karnov, you threw one over here, so it would be nice to have... Well, yeah, we, we basically got that area trapped really well. Then again, Karnov is strong, so he's good at that sort of thing. Uh, well, Karnov, just hold off for now. Hold off on that for now. We'll just keep you in reserve. Yuzo. Go ahead and get more proxies. And then you'll be able to utilize those. Alright. We're gonna go through a lot of proxies this mission, but it's definitely better than losing lives. Alright, Yuri. Yuri, go ahead and move up behind the friendly tank. Tank, go ahead and move around the corner, see what you see. Anyone out there? Little scary moving into a four way. Alright, nope. Yeah, let's not do that, you tank. Okay, I like how much movement time tanks have. Andrea Robinson, you're ready to chuck a proxy. I would like another proxy in this direction, so let's see if we can make that happen. How much. How far can you get? You can get pretty far, but I feel like not quite far enough to get the angle I want. But you're good at reacting, so... Um, tell you what. You have enough time for an auto shot, and Yuri's backing you up. Although the tank cannon's not in front of you. But I feel like you're pretty well covered, especially if David Sharp can get over here and provide you a little extra cover. Sounds good. Of course, you're kind of blocking his line of fire, but uh, I, th I feel like you're better off than you were. Matthias. That's right, I wanted you to trap this hallway a second time. Go ahead and put it right at the four-way to increase the chances of <clears throat> an alien stepping on it. And then get back up there and see what else you can scavenge. Matthias. Do we have more proxies? We've got something else here, but not a proxy. Okay. Bernard. Let's get you over. Let's conduct let's consolidate our forces. I don't like the idea of being split up like this. Okay. And we've got one mine over there, but not another. An alien could potentially come in from that direction and shoot me in the back. I don't like that idea. For obvious reasons. So David Day, I want you to come down. Apparently you can come down a grav shaft while crouched. I didn't uh, mean that, mean to do that like that, but... Uh, David Day, I would like you to be here and be watching out for aliens coming in this direction. And if they do, you can hit them with a snapshot with a rocket. Very risky, but... Uh, if you do it, I'm sure you'll kill them. And you just might kill yourself, too. Okay, we're done. Next turn. Movement is hidden. Will it stay that way? Always tense, always very tense, but still, nothing. Alright, Matthias Berger, you are gathering gear, so do that. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take basically whatever I can get. I'll take it. Alright, very good, Matthias. You are loaded. Karnov, you've got plenty of gear, but I want to keep you safe, so let's wait for you... Let's let Yuzo go first. Yuzo can come down. And then just kind of keep himself safe in the corner. Well, no. Uh, you don't have enough time to use counterattack, so... Uh, Karnov, could you uh, please just move out of the way slightly? Thank you. Okay. And then Yuzo comes up. 
And Alan Blake, you're hiding. Okay, Andrea, you... That's right, you put away your grenade, but it's still active. As an active grenade. Now, I would like... I would like the proximity in this direction so that my troops can move this direction. Okay. So get over to the other side of the hallway. Scooch up. I would like David Sharp to get to this side of the hallway because... Actually, I'd like the... Once again, I'd like the tank to stick his nose out again just to make sure that no enemies are out there. And then you can get in this nook. Sounds good. Okay. Then Andrea Robinson can actually step out in the hallway and chuck a grenade down said hallway about there, which will assure things up a good deal. Okay, then David Sharp can move up here and keep us covered. And Yuri can kind of follow suit on the other end of the hallway. And Bernard, you can reunite with your friends. It's a little scary walking across that hall, but that's fine. And just crouch here. And David Day, also follow your friend. Uh, take one step back. Or, yeah, one step back so that you're actually in the smoke. It's a little exposed there, but that's fine. Alan Blake, you had a prime thingy, and... Right, you were planning to throw that there, because that spot's actually uncovered. Karnov threw one over here, I think, but not one over there. So I'd really like that whole area covered, just so that I know that aliens aren't over there. I'm pretty sure that aliens aren't over there, because I feel like I would have encountered them if they were, but... Now I can feel safe. I feel secure without actually having to go over there. And that's a nice feeling. Alright, next turn... Movement is hidden. It's it's been hidden this whole whole game. We haven't seen we've gone six turns and still haven't encountered a single opponent. Surprising. Alright, Yuzo. Go ahead and cross over. But who knows how close our opponents have gotten to us, but we just haven't seen them through the smoke. Very possible. Bernard. And uh Alan Blake. Um, you have, you've armed this, right? Okay, good. Should I have you arm a normal grenade? Uh, I think I will, but I make, I've got to make sure to remember that he's got this active grenade. So hold it in your hand. Okay, you first tank. See if you can encounter anything. Hello? Any aliens out there? Okay, so whenever you can't click somewhere, it, it makes me think, what, is there an alien there? No, you just can't click there because there's an object that you can't see. Okay, time units reserved for snapshots. We're going to leave the tank exposed rather than having him walk around a corner again. And Alan Sharp, move up behind him. Use the tank for cover. And Andrea Robinson. Oh, do we have some more smoke? That would be good. Yuri, do you, is that smoke ready to go? Yeah, it is. Way to go. Way to go, Yuri. Alright. Go ahead and chuck that out there. Wherever you can. Wherever you can manage it. Alright. Let's move you up a bit. And just wherever you can get it. That's more like it. And then hide over here. Andrea... Just in case someone comes from the other direction, I'd like you to move over here and look the other way. Okay. David Day. Run away. And, you know, let's not bother with saving time units for a snapshot. Let's just have you go up the grab shaft where you can hide temporarily with Karnov. Hello, I am Karnov and I like to hang out up here. This is my... The, welcome to Karnov's Clubhouse. <laughs> I spell both with a K because it is funny. <laughs> How very inventive, Karnov. He's just... Karnov is sitting up there because he's high rank and he likes to lord his rank over his... Oh, that was the smoke. Okay. I, th I thought I actually got one with a proxy, but no such luck. I've got a lot of proxy mines out there. I've put... I have deployed a lot of proxy mines and still no luck. No luck. The old trapping industry is not 
not going as well as it used to. I remember the old days of being an alien trapper. It used to be good, good trapping. Nowadays, not so many aliens anymore. It's hardly, hardly even, uh, hardly even can trap an alien. And when you do, it's real scrawny. Most of the time, aliens chew their own legs off rather than getting trapped. Oh, hey, wait. Okay then. I was wondering where you guys all were. There you are. All right then. We found the aliens. We found. We found one, two, three aliens. Wow. Okay. Well, we're dealing with floaters. It makes me feel good that we're dealing with floaters because they're not so bad. I mean, they're bad, but could be worse. All right. So how do we want to deal with these guys? Seems like an alien grenade would treat them right. Let's try that. Prime it. Takes you exactly 15 to throw it. Can you, uh... Mm. You don't have enough time. Okay. There's no time! Maybe I should have tried for a shot instead. Well, I guess we'll, we'll do the grenade next turn. David Sharp, I want you to stay alive then. Uh, we know where the aliens are. We definitely know where they are. Yuri, uh, why don't you try and actually shoot at them instead? Or you don't really have a line of sight on either of them. The only person who does is the tank. Okay, and that guy's looking at you through a window. That seems like a very nice fortified position to fight from. Okay, so Yuri... I also want you to pull back. Don't activate that grenade yet. Okay, you're saving time use for a snapshot. It would be nice if the aliens were over there, but they're not. Okay, Andrea Robinson. Or tank cannon. Should you fire? Should you bother firing at one of the one of them? Because I feel like if you shoot at one of them, they could easily counterattack. But you do have time for one shot. But then they all could counter. You know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Okay, good thing they didn't decide to react to me driving away. Andrea Robinson, just watch. Watch that direction, just cover the tank. You are next to someone who could potentially explode. So think about that. Bernard, I guess I also want you to move up and prepare an explosive. Make it a debt pack. Of course, potentially that could be a very big chain explosion now. All right, Alan Blake, also a guy with a primed explosive ready. Move up. I would like you to... Well... Yeah, just... Uh, we'll just stay a little bit further away from your friends. That's fine. Yuzo. We know they're over there, so let's try to... Let's get another proxy in that direction, shall we? Yeah. As far as you can throw it. It's not much further, but it works. Okay. That's everyone. Okay, here we go. I don't think there's going to be as much hidden movement this time. Then again. <laughs> I could be, uh, I could be wrong. Matthias. Come on down. And come around. Time units are reserved. Okay, Yuzo. I would like you to... Well, we'll just do... We'll do the tank first. Um, let's have you move up and reconfirm their positions once again. David Sharp's got his, his grenade primed, so he's ready to roll. I'd like, I'd like the tank to take any reaction shots that potentially come at him first. Oh, wow. They're gone. Where are they? Where are you guys? Okay, well, David Sharp, sneak up on this side. 
Okay, Andrea Robinson, stick with the tank. Ooh. Just really surprised that we're not running into the aliens. All right, David Sharp, get up along this side. Okay, you've got, re you're reserving, you're reserving, the tank's reserving. All right, well, we're ready to react if the tanks come around, or if the aliens come around. Get that back out of your hand, Yuri. Back up your friends. Bernard, you've got that ready. I guess, uh, move up alongside your other friend up here who also has an explosive ready. That way, if you blow up, you can blow up together. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, yeah, just hide back here. Although, the ang there could be an angle. Well, okay, just... Awkwardness. Alan Blake. Follow suit. Okay. Hello, David Day. Do I want you to move out? I think I want David Day to move out. Where was David Day? David Day. What do you say, David Day? You want to come this way? Alright, and Yuzo. Oops, I moved David Day in your way. David Day is in the way. But that's okay. He's David Day. Okay, Klaus and Karnov will just sit. Okay, we saw something. We are seeing things, but we didn't react and they didn't shoot us. I should have known that that, that alien, that, that floater was still up in that, uh, that little window. Okay, so we know where that guy is. Maybe we can get a grenade up in the window. That would be nice. Okay, so, uh, tank, you're first. See if you can find the enemies or potentially take shots for us. Look around you. Okay, there's the frog, right? Yeah, there's the frog. Not as concerned about him as other people. Because I haven't been killed by one of those things yet. Though I'm sure its melee is quite nice. Can you get it up there? Okay, well, I want you to get rid of this alien grenade in any case. Somehow. Tank cannon. Let's get a little bit more yardage. David Sharp. It'd be a shame to destroy all these alien artifact thingies that are around, though. But I'd rather destroy them than get killed. Just throw it at the frog. These low ceilings are a problem for throwing explosives, you know that? They are a very big problem for throw the throwing of explosives. Okay, so David Sharp, I want you to once again hide. You don't need to save time units for a snappy. Okay, Andrea. Back your friendly tank up. Slowly. Okay, Andrea is keeping overwatch for you. Yeah, keep your eyes on that frog monster just in case it goes nuts and attacks us. Yuri, I want you also to move up. And reserve. And yeah, you're still looking at the frog monster. David Sharp's out of time. Bernard, could you maybe? Probably not. So go ahead and move up. Move up here. Although I'm at, I am worried about having a grenade thrown at us, so maybe, uh, maybe hide. 
I'll just hope that they don't throw anything big at us. Alan Blake, actually, you shouldn't be that close either. Okay, I, yeah, I'm clustering my people a little bit much. And that is an issue. Day to day. Yuzo. Alright. Matthias. Burger. Oh, smoke, right. Smoke could be useful. Too bad I've done all my people's turns. Alright, here we go. Frog. Floater. Floater. Okay, we saw them. But still no conflict. So we just... They just keep running away. Come back here. I want to fight you. Don't you want to fight me? I want to fight. What's the deal? They're coming in peace. They're not supposed to come in peace. They're supposed to come in pieces. Oops, that's not the way I wanted to move that. Okay, Bernard, can you get a throw? Nice! That is a dead alien. Run away! Probably. Probably a dead alien. A alien that has a very high potential of being dead. Alright, let's look around for other aliens. Anyone else out there? Wants to expose themselves? Anyone at all? Hello there! My tank didn't see you, but I sure as hell did. Prepare to die. Or prepare to, um, uh, yeah, never mind. Um, prepare to have been shot at. Well, we know where the alien is. I just am worried that he knows where we are, too. Uh, can we get another guy to kill that person? Who can do that? Uh, David, you've got a grenade. Maybe you can shed a grenade on this situation. 15. Can you please get one up there somewhere? That would be nice. Got 15 left. Oh, please. Yeah, that won't be enough time. That just won't be enough time. Alright, get back. Okay, I don't like how my guys are stuck in the hallway like this, but... That works. So... I can maybe... Get an angle on him over here, but then I'll be exposed to other things, and I'm worried about that. I'm worried about Andrea, and I'm worried about other things, too. Alan Blake. That thing's primed. Maybe Alan Blake can get it in there. Thirteen. This is your last square. Oh man. You can't. Oh well, you're saving time units for a snapshot. Yuri. You can't really get up there. Tank cannon, can you shoot him? Well, you tried. I'm worried that Andrea Robinson's gonna get shot for sure, unless that guy is bad at shooting. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to hope that guy's bad at shooting. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Uh oh. <laughs> um, nope. Maybe if I had done this earlier in the order of operations, but now it's a nope situation.
Matthias Berger. All right, I got three of my boys lined up in the line, and that's a bit of a shame. David Day, maybe you should get away from them. Wait, was that an active? And that and then that guy's an active grenade. Let's just hope he doesn't die. I'm I'm. Well, they've got Andrew to kill anyway, so. Okay, hello there. Holy crap, he decided to come down and shoot... There's two in there? There's two? Is Are you saying there's two in that little thing? Holy mackerel. I lived! Hello, thank you, luck. Thank you, luckiness. Thank you, goddess of luck, or whatever. <laughs> or, or whatever. Okay, so we know there's a jackass in there. So what I say we do is just destroy them I think these grenades can destroy these internal walls right of course if I toss this will I be able to get away I know, I know one went back there. I know one's upstairs. Alright, Alan Blake, let's, let's get you to throw the grenade upstairs like I wanted you to. You can't do that. Still not. I guess that's a hard throw. Oh crap, the tank took a hit. I guess I didn't get that lucky. Andrea Robinson, I want you up along this wall where... Well, no, that's not the place I want you to be. Oh, wait, 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 because I want to bombard. Mm. All right. Well, if I wanted to do that, I just screwed up in a big way. Tank cannon, get behind this. Andrea Robinson, hide here. Yuri. Uh, I wonder where that guy can see. Alright, so let's say I throw this here. Then I'll have ten time units to run away, so I can get two more spaces away. It blows up about the size of a screen, so maybe if I toss it over here... Where did that go? I don't know, but I think it's far enough away. Crap. I can't move at all. Oh, crap. Okay, well, oh, crap. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Oh, crap. I don't know who that's gonna kill and who that's gonna leave alive. Okay. Well, David Sharp, I wanted you to get rid of your grenade as well. So, let's go do that. Or not. I'm just not having a good time. It's not easy finding a place to toss this. Alright, well. Okay, Bernard. Just crouch here and be ready to react. David. Once again, hide with your alien grenade that is active. Yuzo. Move up and also cover this area. Excuse me. David Day. I would have liked you to hit the upper area with a rocket launcher, but... It seems like that's not gonna happen. So just be ready to do what you need to do. Alright, and... Matthias Berger. Right, smoke would be nice. Smoke would be nice. Anyone got smoke that's, uh, primed? 
Let me check this. Is this primed? Nope. I'll tell you what, prime it. And just drop it. Boom. Instant smoke. Andrea, you're just sitting tight. Alan Blake. Once again, I would like you to distribute this grenade somewhere. But I don't know where, so... I don't think the explosion of the grenade could cause any particular harm, but... Let's have you move up one square. And crouch. And, uh... Oh no, wait. Alan Blake, I don't want you to move up one square and crouch because... You're getting closer to an explosion. Explosion. Okay, uh... Well, now you're like that. Now you can't even see the guy who's probably gonna shoot you. Okay, I'm just making matters worse. Um, Alan Blake, can you hide back here? Yes, you can. Okay. Hide behind that, whatever that is. Okay. Okay, none of my friends died because of that. None of my enemies died by... Because of that, but none of my friends died. Okay, I just got shot at a lot and I didn't counterattack one bit. I'm just getting shelled and they just keep hiding. I am so lucky that I'm alive after all that. I just, I just screwed up in multiple ways. I thought the explosion could kill some of these internal paneling, but... It doesn't seem that way. Okay, I... Want... Revenge on this guy. Uh... Let's see if we can react to him. You've got a small R. It's either that or next turn we'll come in after him. He keeps peeking out. See either that or... Well, actually, I probably have enough time units to move in after him. I'm just afraid that he'll react. There you are! Crap, not enough time units, because you turned the wrong direction. Point blank! Cool, boy. Okay, now we just gotta get the guy above him. Otherwise, Yuzo is screwed though. screwed -oed. And I don't know how to do that without throwing some sort of grenade! Ooh, or a rocket launcher. Dare I say it. David Day! Oh nice, you can see him! Um, Everyone who can get away, get away. Okay, who do you see? Scrooge that bastard. Nice. Okay, one less alien for us to deal with. Crouch. Yuri, I hope you don't get shot, but it's... Whatever happens is better than being shot by an alien. Or I hope you don't get roasted by a rocket launcher. But I assure you what happens next will be better than if you get shot by an alien. Alright, crouch. Although that will change the angle. Here we go! Alright, that didn't do much. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that didn't do much. Alan Blake, please tell me you can get a grenade in there somewhere. Just please. Just tell me. It doesn't have to be true, just tell me you can. Oh, you can get an angle on him, sweet. Can you throw the grenade? You still can't throw the grenade, but you know what? You don't need it. Put it in your belt. Aim carefully. That means... What, wait, 16, 18, 18, so... You barely have enough to time units to fire twice, so don't crouch. Come on, you can... Oh, you broke the wall! You broke the wall! Oh, I thought you had enough... To, oh no, you have enough for a, uh, you have enough for a uh, auto shot and a, ton, a snapshot. Okay, you broke the wall down. Nice, you got him. Okay, I can't believe that that all ended well. I mean, can you guys believe that that ended well? I can't believe that that just ended. Mm, there's the frog. Okay, I just mm, I'm exposed to a frog. Uh, should I shoot the frog? No, that's I'm not seeing a frog. I'm seeing something else. I'm seeing something else. I'm gonna hide from something else, because that's much worse than a frog. Hide! Okay, hidden. Well, we know where our next opponent is. David Day, prepare your next rocket. Oh, you don't even, you can't even put it in your hand, okay. Uh, David Sharp, you've got a grenade, and there's a place for you to distribute it if you'd like. If you can get up there. You can't get up there. Saving time units for a snapshot. Bernard! Move up, and watch for things. Matthias. Follow suit. Okay. 
And it looks like we're done for this turn. David Sharp is next to Yuzo. David Sharp, well, you are saving time use for a snapshot, so. Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh! Tell me that didn't knock out the guy with the grenade. Okay, I guess we're okay. Whew. Holy crap! Holy crap! What was that? There was a... There was a thing got shot, fired and it blew up and, and we're okay. All right then. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm I'm getting really lucky. I swear I don't have God mode or anything on. I'm not I'm not cheating. It's, it feels this is almost this is almost feeling too good to be true. Well, let's not let's not uh, let's not lure ourselves into a false sense of security. Throw the grenade. Try to get around the corner slightly, can you? Okay, and the grenade blows up about the size of a screen, so I think we'll be safe here. But just in case, let's back up just a little bit. Okay, I would have liked you to be able to turn, but... Boom. Yeah, I, th I think we'll be safe here. So just pay attention. Crouch, aim carefully. Okay, Andrea Robinson, we know that there's an alien down that hallway. Go ahead and get eyes on him again, tank. Can you see him? I guess maybe he's backed off a little. Okay, Andrea, get alongside this wall. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. Tank cannon. Go ahead and take a position similar to Andrea's so that you'll be the first target of attacks. Okay. Yuri? Uh, you're feeling a little safe in that little bunker, but we gotta move you forward, so Yuri, just come up along here. Alright, and Alan Blake, move along the top side. Of course, well yeah, that's fine. And David Day, load another frickin' rocket. And get up along here, okay? And Matthias Berger is always way behind. But he's getting there. Karnov, you shouldn't have your back turned to the grav shaft, actually, Karnov. Even though we have your area thoroughly trapped, I would like you to be safe. Same with uh, the other guys safe. Okay, good. Next turn. We got him. Nice. And we didn't get our own people. Okay. Hidden movement. Is still hidden. And that is perfectly fine. Klaus and Karnov are just sitting in their places. Minding their own business. Ooh, I don't want to scout with that guy. No, I don't. No, I don't. I want to scout with a tank, because it does not have a rank. A tank does not have a rank. A tank does not have a rank. <laughs> there are no ranks for tanks. Okay, uh, well, no, wait, there's that window there, Andrea, so pay attention to that window, as well as the hallway. Yuzo, same deal. David Sharp, move up a little. Uh, Bernard. Yuzo, maybe a bit more. And then Crouch. And then Alan Blake. Up a bit. Okay, good. David Day. There you are. And Matthias Berger. David Sharp. I guess maybe you could move up here. You've got a lot of time to use that. Okay, you're a little exposed on that spot. Actually, yeah, that, that seems better. That seems a little better. Okay, okay. Oh, Yuri. Yuri, okay. Yuri, why don't you support this side? Alright. Good. Done. Hidden movement. Okay, there's not much hidden movement anymore. Which I find encouraging. David Sharp. 
No, no. Tank. Tank. Always tank. First. There is one. Should we shoot him? Tempting. But I feel like the tank... Ooh. Somebody shot at me. Okay, I feel... Uh, tank is... I don't feel like is the best for that sort of thing. Okay, Andrea Robinson. You could potentially hit him with a grenade if you wanted, but... I'm gonna say... That we should leave that job for someone else. Like Alan Blake here. Alan Blake can wind up a grenade. Because that's what you do. It's a windy toy. And then Andrea Robinson is better at... Sh or no, Yuri, you're better at shooting, so you can do that. And Andrea Robinson is a reactor, so... She can generate power for a small city. No, she can, uh... She can react to the aliens when they move up. Of course, Yuri, you're running a little, 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 little low on time, so if you did that, you'd be exposed. I right, tell you what. Yeah, Andrea Robinson, I want you, since you'd be looking at your friends back there, I want you to move up here, and then crouch there. If an alien comes down the hallway, or can you potentially see them there? Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. That sort of thing. And then Yuri, you're here. And Alan, you're there. And then we'll be ready to roll next turn. Yuzo! And David. Yeah, David, try to, try to just look. Okay, nothing down the hall. Alright, we had a grenade down. Or, we had a grenade there, so yeah. We can feel pretty safe that there's nothing in this area. Uh, just maybe over there, so... David Sharp, yeah, get along this side and focus on that direction, because I'd be really surprised if an alien came down this hallway and shot me in the back. Not that it can't happen, just I'd be a bit surprised, that's all. And then, uh, then you guys can look directly down the hallway, if you want. Sounds good. All right. And Matthias Berger, why don't you... Go over here, where you can catch up. Okay. And David Day? Actually, you throwing down, uh, throwing a rocket down that hallway would be kind of fun. So let's get you up close, where you can potentially do that next turn as well. Okay. Things are good. Things are looking good for next turn. Oh, hello. Would you like me to react to you? Nope, we didn't react. Is anyone... We're seeing them. We're, could they? Could we have potentially reacted? Could they have potentially shot us there? I think Andrea just actually saw them and failed to do anything about it. All right, tank. Go ahead and expose yourself slightly. Okay. So now we're looking at their back. That's good. Now Yuri, come out there and fire over. Oh, hello. More than I expected. Fire over your friendly tank. Nice. You almost got the other one. Uh, yeah, you got enough time to use the fire and get away, so go ahead and do that. Is that as far as the screen can scroll to the top? Because my screen is getting kind of stuck. You just shot your tank in the back! I didn't expect you to be such a terrible shot, but you are. Oh, my tank, I'm sorry. I can't believe you're alive. Your firing accuracy is shot, along with uh, a lot of other things. Okay, Andrea Robinson, go ahead and move up two squares, so that, uh, David Day, you can fire a rocket down the hallway? A little bit risky, but I'm gonna say yes. He's probably not gonna survive this. Please don't hit any of your friends. Thank you. Of all the times I really needed a straight shot. It is, it is scary doing that. Okay, now Andrea Robinson. I want you posted here so that you can react to whatever happens next. Uh, remain standing so you can shoot over your tank, friend. And tank, I still want you out front, even though you are terribly damaged. I'd rather use, lose you than one of my operatives. Alan Blake? Just hide here. You are an active bomb. So it's actually dangerous to have you near your friends, but still we're gonna do that. Okay, so... You're good at shooting. You're good at reacting. You're good at shooting. Okay. So, Bernard, you first. Alright. Then you, David Sharp. 
All right, and then Yuzo, you can be ready to react. Time units reserved. Uh, move you up one so we can have an inflating kind of deal. Uh, actually, let's not get so close to each other. Okay, like that. Still is a bit close to each other, but good. Could be worse. It's interesting how all the men in this game have brown hair and all the women have blonde hair. Is that the case? Well, at least for the sprites. I mean, in, in the armament screen, it's different. They've got multiple ethnicity, eth ethnicities. It kind of makes me think that they are going to add more sprites as well as uh, more images. Or it makes me think that they want to have as many sprites as they did for character, character, you know, little dolls, paper, character displays, whatever you want to call those things. Uh, it, it, it seems like they want to have the same number of people, but who knows? The same number of ethnicities. Hidden movement! It's surprising that none of my proximity grenades are getting any action. I mean, really. I, I expected to hit somebody with one of those. Alright, slowly we do it. Right, right, I like to do things with the tank first. Alright, we've moved up a fair amount. Let's scoot back just a little bit so that we don't get hit around the corner. And that is an awkward way to be facing, but that's fine. Andrea Robinson gonna have you looking standing here and looking this way just in case aliens come out that door Alan Blake just wait right there Yuri I want you to move up and take this kind of position as well David Day you need a new weapon look at your new weapon congratulations all right David Day why don't you go this way? And then, Alan Blake. I want you to move up around this door, but I want you to crouch. No, I don't want you to crouch. But I want you to get too close, because I want, I want the aliens to kill anyone but you, because you are a threat to your friends. You so you can react to things. David Sharp. You're good at shooting. Don't get too close to the proximity grenade now, guys. That, that was a little risky moving there with not that much time units left. Okay, and Bernard Yuzo, get around that corner as well. And then Bernard can take that corner right there. Or maybe Bernard can move up a little here. And like that. Okay, although, yeah, now Bernard's sticking out a little. So Yuzo, get up behind him. Okay. You guys are clustered a bit, so why don't we give you some more smoke? It's been a while since I've tossed smoke. Matthias has some smoke, and he wants to get rid of it, so here you go. Smoke it up. David Day, you're saving time. Yes, that's right. Okay, here we go. Smoke. Oh, fudge! Fudge! Oh, man! Oh! Oh, you jerk! He just reamed us so badly. Oh, you bastard. Oh, Andrea's actually okay. She's okay, folks. And my god, I'm lucky they didn't kill Alan Blake. That would have been a disaster. Alright, die, you bastard. Don't shoot the tank. I shouldn't have done an auto shot, perhaps. Who has a medikit? Who has a medikit? Get a medikit! Alan Blake. Um. Do I want you to use the medkit? Maybe, uh, does someone else have a medkit? Okay, no. Tell you what, Alan Blake, uh, drop the med kit, because I don't want you um, taking that grenade out of your hand. Uh, uh, I wanted you to peek in and then potentially toss the grenade. Oh yeah, tank, could you go inside and peek inside? Okay, we're clear. We're probably not going to be ambushed again. Probably. Okay, Alan Blake. I'm tired of you holding that active grenade, but just hide... I was gonna, you know, I was just gonna, like poke in and toss a grenade in. So the jerk came out. David Day, you've got the med kit. Then, is this guy dead? He's dead, isn't he? Let's 
say it ain't so. Corpse. Okay, he is. And he had a medkit. How ironic. Okay, he didn't make a sound when he died. But people don't necessarily have to make a sound when they die. It's just often they do. It's just how this game works. I just am worried about this grenade I'm holding. Alright, well, I am I am worried about this area. I'm worried about these people on the side. Uh, Bernard? Explore a little bit more. Well, I definitely am no longer invincible. I thought that I was getting really good luck. Not anymore. We do have another proxy grenade. Thought I was running low on those. There isn't much more room left for them to be hiding. And we've proximityed a lot of it. I'm guessing they like to be they like to be in this area. I guess maybe that's a control module or something. Uh, pr pr prime the proxy. Move up a bit. Not necessary. Toss it over here. Not necessary. Toss it over there on that grab shaft. Okay, I would really like you to... Mm, not enough time units, you say? But you can get it there. Okay, that's good enough. Then Bernard, cover your friend! And same with Yuzo. Cover. Just keep us covered. Something comes down that grab shaft, he's gonna get a face full of grenade. Tank cannon just... Oh wait, you kind of you kind of did look that direction, so... Oh well, it's fine. Alright, we're done. What happens next? Hidden movement. Okay, done. Alright. Still surprised how little we've killed with our proximity grenades. Oh, Yuzo, you're a reactions guy, so just... Uh, let someone else. Let Bernard... Move up a bit. Okay, they're not there. Not entirely surprising. Okay. David Sharp, we're just gonna keep watch on that direction. So I think they are in here. They are they are definitely in here, so let's let's get in there. Tank cannon, I want you to explore the other direction. If you can manage it. So Andre Robinson, you need to move one space, okay. Tank cannon, if you'd get over here. I th we broke down the wall. Can't you drive over broken down walls? Not. Yeah, just watch this direction. Andrea will support you in watching this direction. And David Day will explore in this direction. Then Alan Blake is also going to get in here now. He'll be ready to throw a grenade around the corner. So get around the corner and hide. And David Day... You can get right here and watch that corner. All right, we're watching Alan Blake on both sides like he is an active explosion. Because he is an active explosion waiting to happen. Matthias Berger, I want you to watch that window from this side. Just watch that area. Okay, next turn. Hidden movement. Didn't last very long. <laughs> it's surprising that we haven't killed anyone with our proximity grenades. I threw out so many proximity grenades. New kills. There, David Day, moving up. Don't see nothing. Alan Blake. Uh, well, you know, move up a bit more at uh, David Day. Right to the corner, yeah. Okay, Alan Blake. Stay about a grenade's distance away from your friend. Okay, tank cannon. Explore this hallway. Okay, we're looking safe. 
Leave enough space for Andrea Robinson to back you up. All right. And now David Sharp will clear this direction. Is the corner clear? It's looking clear. All right, let's move through. Yeah, it was clear. We're clear. All right, then. The game is afoot. He's either up here in one or two other locations or hiding in either one or two other locations potentially or here. There's there's not much space left in which the aliens can hide. Yuzo, just continue watching that grav shaft. Matthias. Uh, same basic idea. Bernard, let's confirm that this area is in fact clear. Pretty sure it is, but it doesn't hurt to be 100. Alright, I am pretty much 100% sure that that's clear. Alright, next turn. Movement is still hidden. Wherever those aliens are, they do not want to come out. All right, David Sharp, let's go reunite with our friends. Oh, I didn't have Snapshot on. Oops, I like to have Snapshot on as a policy. All right, tank cannon, move up. We're gonna examine this side. Come around the final part of the hallway. Okay, time units reserved for a snapshot, but that's no good if you can't. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, uh, we need someone to save the tank because they did come out of that door. David Day, please don't get shot when you do this. Okay. Okay. Now, I know that it's risky to do an auto shoot, but I really need you to kill these aliens. Die, die, die. Nice. Nice. Now, don't kill the tank. Oh my god, you didn't kill your friendly tank! I can't believe that that just worked. I can't believe that that worked just did. Wow. I moved too far with my tank. I was asking for my tank to get killed. And he did not. Okay. That might be it. It might be. But considering I'm not 100% sure yet... Let's continue to move people. Alan Blake, you can get a little closer, a little. Karnov, Klaus, Matthias. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Okay. Poor, poor. Poor Alan Day. Uh, oh, and the tank got destroyed too. So, that alien just point-blank fired with a rocket launcher and killed himself. And it looked like... It, 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 did you see in the graphic? It showed the alien go back inside the room after he killed himself. That didn't happen. Oh well, excellent. Uh, we only got two recruits kill or two of my lower-ranking people killed. I still feel bad because I took losses and I lost a tank, but... Uh, it's a good mission overall. Alright, well... Another alien base destroyed! Very good! I'm gonna put that as... Two bases down! Exclamation point. Question mark. Hashtag. A asterisk. Mm, brackets. Thank you very much for watching this episode of... XCOM UFO Defense. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time, good people of Earth. Good night, and remember, don't get hurt.